Hello again. How you doing? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the word God <laughs> and God. That it's the most misleading word in the history of humankind. This video here is a prequel to a video that's going to be done. It's going to come out on Thursday, July 2nd that I will be doing with Miguel Connor from Eon Bike. Miguel Connor did two podcasts on me years ago, and uh, he's a Gnostic brethren of mine. So we're going to be doing a video together on his channel on July 2nd, Thursday, just to let you know that that's, this is just a, a smaller video of a prequel to that video that's coming out, to let you know so you can get ready for it. All right? Okay, well, in my other videos, I talk about this a lot, you know, you've heard some of the stuff I'm going to say now, but this word God, the one who created that word God <coughs> was the devil. God himself was the devil. Yeah, for real. Read his book, the Bible. It's 80% murder and rape. He does a whole lot of horrible things there. And the devil is hardly mentioned at all. In, I mean, he in the Bible, and he hardly does anything. He really doesn't do anything. But it's God the one who's doing all the bad stuff. And so when people use this word God, because it's not a name, thou shalt not use the word God, the name God, God's name in vain. Thou shalt not use God's name in vain. Which name? Which one? Because he had a bunch of names. The first name he was ever given was Yaltabath by Sophia, his mother. <laughs> He's been called a whole bunch of names because of all the 12 gods and all the different cultures in, in, through humanity in the past, he was always the main god. He was Jupiter for the Romans. He was Poseidon for the Greeks. He was uh, Quetzalcoatl or the other god for the Aztec. He, the main god of all the 12 gods is this one. And he is Jehovah in the Old Testament. And he speaks about other gods. And, and, and when he's talking, he goes, Thou shalt have no other gods before me, for I am a jealous god. He's saying there's other gods, just don't put them before him. And he's always talking to the gods when he's doing stuff. Anyways, this word god means devil. And so everybody, whenever they say God, they're saying devil. <laughs> you know, and when they pray, please God, give me this and give me that and help me this and help me with that and help me, and nothing ever happens. Because he don't exist anymore. This God, this devil is dead, gone. Christ got rid of him 2,000 years ago. He hasn't done anything in 2,000 years. None of the gods have, because Christ got rid of all the gods and all the flesh angels all of them that are out there, that were out there, had everybody looking out there, they're all gone. So now his descendants are here. The descendants of this devil, who are the materialist rulers, who descend from the kings of old, who descend from the Nephilim, who descend from the sons of God, who came down and took the daughters of men, Genesis 6. These descendants are the ones who rule today and who are working with their shadow government now. <laughs> with this coronavirus nonsense. But uh, look what's happening. All kinds of riots and wars and this and that. There ain't going to be a third world war of two countries and countries against countries and a world war, governments against governments. This third world war, if it goes down, it's going to be all the governments against all the people. And that's what's going on right now. Right now, the people are fighting back against the governments. They're fighting the police there's, there's riots, picketing, this and that. They want to start this. They're not going to win. They can't win. <laughs> they, they've been trying to control us and control us and control us. Anyways, this word God is messed up. Everybody keeps saying, God bless you, God bless you. One of my brethren came up with a new thing. It's cool. It says He says, man bless you. Man bless you. That's the Holy Spirit. She's real. She exists. And you've heard... Man is not greater than God. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is far greater than a dead God. You know? Well, so I'm just want to let you know that, see, the universe is God's place. This place is hell because he's the devil for real. This is the real deal. Okay? 
This space is yin and yang, negative and positive. Negative six, positive nine, this universe. And that's why life can exist here because of this positive nine. Okay? Now, the eternal realm is Christ's place. Christ is the good guy. God is the bad guy. But religion tries to make that Christ is the son of the devil. No, he never says that. Christ is the son of man. I am the son of man. And man is the name of the Holy Spirit. The true trinity is the Father Holy, the divine source, which is this circle, which is eternal, because he never had a beginning or end. The Holy Spirit is the beginning, the plus symbol. That's the real beginning. That's the John Gospel in the, in, in the Bible, which they altered it. It was a Gnostic Gospel. The first John Gospel is about the Holy Spirit in the very beginning. Because there's two beginnings in the Bible. The other beginning of time and material is this one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and earth, and His Spirit moved to and fro above the waters. If He's the one and only, who's the Spirit above Him and above the waters, moving to and fro? That's Sophia, who brought this hell forth and brought her son, Yaltabath, the devil, forth. The devil's not going to come to you and say, I'm the devil, and I'm evil, and I'm bad, and you're going to do what I say, and that's it, that's it. Because he's not honest. If he was honest, he'd say that. <laughs> No, he's a liar and he's dishonest and he's arrogant and jealous. So he says, I'm God. And he creates this word God. And I mean, I don't mean the letters. I mean the word God because in Spanish, Dios means God. God, okay? It's not a name. It's a title of an archon ruler. Right. And so this universe was God's place, this hell. He's not here no more. But his descendants now are ruling Conditioning everybody to believe, keeping them in the matrix, lying to you. You know, it, his descendants are the materialist rulers of this world, this evil world. The world's evil. It says that in John 1. It says that in John 1. Do not love the world or the things in it, for he who loves the world does not have the Father's love in him. And then, God so loved the world, so that God doesn't have the Father in him, and God's not here no more. God's dead. He's died. He's the one that died on the crucifix, not Christ. Christ can't die. And that's why the Jews did not believe that Christ, that Jesus or Yeshua was the Messiah because they know that the Christ can't die. And that's why they didn't believe it. Okay? So Christ is the true Trinity. The Father Holy, the Holy Spirit, who is the Spirit of Holy, which is the Mother, which is Mother Man, and then Christ the Son. Father, Mother, Son, Mind, thought, life. Invisible, eternal mind, image, Holy Spirit, and life, son. Mind, thought, life. That's what happened in the very beginning before this in the eternal realm called the Pleroma. This happened, God happened after that. God is time and material. God is beginning and end. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, the beginning and the end. That's God. Universe. Uni means one. Verse means line. One line, negative symbol, beginning and end. This is God's universe. His hell. Okay? So if you stop saying God, like I did when I learned, I now pray. When I pray, I don't say, give me this and give me that, or whatever. I know that the Holy Spirit exists, that man exists, the Holy Spirit. So when I pray to the Holy Spirit, she's real, or the Father Holy, or Christ, that's within me, that makes up my light, water, eternal soul, then I'm doing some real prayer, some real meditation, and I use gratitude. On one of my other videos, I explain that on how to bring more money to you. I explain that. But I just, I'm just, I just, I'm just grateful, and I just go, I'm grateful to you, Father Holy, that I now receive in abundance all the things that I will to have that are okay for you, that I can have them. And then I receive them. It happens every time. I, I, I'm happy now. I'm happy, joyous, and free. But I'm free that I'm happy and joyous. I'm free from the ignorance to be a conditioned believer that they want me to be. Because they want you to believe. No. I know now. I know now. This is now. The circle is now. The eternal realm. Now is eternal. There's no time in now. I know now. And since I know now, now knows me. 
And so now there's a connection that I have with the Father Holy. And this guy is no more, can no more deceive me or his people cannot deceive me anymore. I'm free now because I'm a Christ child, not a God child, a Christ child. I'm, a, I'm an eternal light water soul. The children of light reincarnate because we're eternal. The children of God do not reincarnate. They die. There's a scripture that says, he was made from, a, from clay. When the pot breaks, it is no more. He who is made from glass, when the glass breaks, it can be remade because it was made from a breath, from the breath of life that we have and they do not have. Thank you. That's enough for now. Uh, like I said, this is a prequel to a video that I'm doing with Miguel Connor from Eon Bike on July 2nd. It's a Thursday. Okay? So don't miss it. All right? Man bless you and make the two in one.